How you doing? This is Mr. Ben Johnson, also known as Coach Johnson. So what I want to do is, uh, you know, this month is Bicycle Safety Month. And I just want to talk to you about a couple different things. Um, you know, the first thing, you know, when people talk about bike safety, bicycle safety, the first thing they talk of, they think of, they think of when you're riding on the road and you're already, you know, on your trail or what have you. And the first thing they think is, how can I be safe on the trail? Well, I want to tell you that bike safety begins before you even touch your bike. Yes. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a quick quiz. So what is the one important body part that you need to protect before you ever get on your bicycle? I'll give you a second to think about it. And I'll also tell you this, I'll give you a hint. I shave mine all the time. If you guessed your head, you are correct. Good job, good job, good job. So here's the thing. First off, I have two exhibits, two things I want to talk to you about real quick. I want to show you. So I have two helmets here, and I'm going to show you the first one. The first one is your mainstream overall helmet now look at the design of this helmet this helmet actually fits right right around uh, the back of the skull it is your more of a neutral type fit it is lightweight runs you about 50 40 50 bucks at your at uh, your sporting goods store and it's pretty much neutral now there's another one now if you notice the difference this is one of your $150 to $250 helmets, roughly, depending. And if you notice, it, it, it comes down toward the base of the skull, unlike this one. This is more of your mountain bike helmet or trail helmet. They can go either or. A helmet is a helmet. It protects the same. Now, you have your $50 helmet. You got your $150, $250 helmet, roughly. Now, which one of these protects your head more? I'm going to answer that question for you. Both of these helmets, they pass, they have to pass the same uh, government regulation impact test. So both of these helmets can protect your head as, um, as equally as, as possible. So what I'm saying is, if you were to get in a wreck, no matter if you had this helmet or this helmet, if it's the same wreck, same impact, they should protect your head the same. Now, you might want to ask the question, why is one 45 to 50 bucks and why is one 150 easy because it, it it depends on durability um you know being comfortable you have some that are that are featherweight you have some that are more dynamic you have some that have more airflow you got some that look kind of like this and they have a fin at the back more aerodynamic you have all those different things to consider so the so just know that at the very base the very base of this whole thing, you have to realize that um, they must protect your head equally, and they have a lot of the same components. Now, some people ask the question, well, I found this nice helmet on eBay. I found this nice helmet, you know, um, at, a, at a yard sale, or garage sale, or you'd have a friend that stopped cycling and they gave it to you. Now, I would suggest, I would suggest you not buy a used helmet. Now, again, if you feel comfortable enough with the person you're getting it from, that's that's all totally your business. But I would not buy a purchase a helmet that has been used by someone else for the simple fact of this. You don't know what that helmet has gone through. So that helmet could have a fracture in it that's compromised. You never know. You never know. Somebody could have uh, had an accident. You might not think anything's wrong with it, and you have an accident. And you don't have the, same, the proper protection that is guaranteed by the manufacturer. Okay, so those are some things to think about. Now, when it comes to helmets, that is the first thing that you must do. You must, and, and, and you know, people ask, well, what, what how, can, how, how do I know how a bike, I mean, how a bike helmet fits? Easy. You go to your local uh, sporting, uh, sporting goods store, but I, I would prefer going to professionals at your local bike shop and have them fit you for a helmet. 
um, they'll fit you and they'll tell you how it fits properly and it needs to be comfortable and it needs to cover these components because you don't want one too small, you'll get a headache. You don't want one too big and flopping around on your head because it's going to compromise and it's going to jeopardize the, the protection that you have. Now, uh, again, the recap for the day, find you the right helmet. All right. I cannot stress that enough. So we're going, to get, we're going to try to start a series on bicycle safety. We're going to go from the things you need before you ride to all the way up to the things you need after you ride and while you're riding and how do you take care of your body. So we're going to try to just keep rolling with this series. This is Mr. Johnson. This is Coach Johnson, and I will see you later. Thank you for your time.